be fine. You act like I've never been on television before. I'm going to be all right. I got the routine figured out, and I'm going to close with a ballad. What do you mean, I can't sing a ballad? I do not sound like a sick cow. <laughs> all right, wise guy, just hold it a second. Listen. You never know just how much I love you. You never know just how much I care And if I tried I still couldn't hide My love for you You ought to know Or haven't I told you so A million or more You went away, and my heart went with you. Okay. <laughs> I speak your name in my every <laughs> How do you like that? He hung up on me. dear. I hung up the receiver. I didn't know you were singing to somebody. Oh, well... Who was she? It wasn't a she. It was that bullheaded agent of mine. I was just trying to convince him that I can sing a ballad. He says, when I sing a ballad, I sound like a sick cow. Sick? Why, you're perfectly healthy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hello. What? Well, no, not at all. Wait a minute. Hold it. Prayer. <laughs> if there is some other way to prove that I love you, I swear I don't know how. Never know if you don't know now. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you very much. Not at all. I see he changed his mind. That wasn't him. That was a girl on a switchboard. <laughs> when you hung up, she missed the end of the song. Daddy, Kathy! What? Look what I found! A wallet. Hey, yeah, there's money in this, too. Yeah, I'm rich! $25. Where did you find it, Rusty? In front of the apartment house next door. Hmm. No identification. I wonder who it belongs to. Belongs to me. I found it. Oh, <laughs> we're going to have to make an honest effort to find the owner, Russ. I made an honest effort. Hmm? I looked around and nobody was chasing me. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to make more of an honest effort than that. Are you sure there isn't any identification in Nothing. it? Just this RJT on the top here. Hmm. You know any RJTs in the neighborhood? No. Do you? No, I don't. Well, that sure was an honest effort. Give me the money. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ross, come back, you know. Will you please sit down and relax? I can't relax. I'm too excited. Well, just jump back into your skin and, and calm down for a second. Now, we've got to try to find the owner and return that wallet. You mean we're going to have to give it back? Yeah, we're going to have to give it back. Well, there go a lot of happy moments at the drugstore. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sweetheart, there's an old saying I want you always to remember. It's a what? very good old saying. Honesty is the best policy. Well, there's a good old saying that I like better. What's that? Finders, keepers, losers, losers. <laughs> I know you're just a boy, and this may be a little difficult for you to understand. But believe me, son, take my word for it. Money isn't nearly as important as the good feeling you get from doing the right thing. 
You try to do the right thing as long as you live, and you'll never be sorry. Now, come on, we gotta try to find the owner of that wallet. If he found it at uh, the apartment house next door, maybe it belongs to someone who lives there. Yeah, I suppose so, honey. We'll just have to go along and ring some doorbells, that's all. Besides doing the right thing, you may even get a reward. A reward? Now you're talking sense. <laughs> <laughs> that is right, you know. He will get a reward. How much do you think I'll get? I don't know. What's the difference? Believe me, whatever it is, it'll mean a lot more to you than if you kept the whole $25, because you'll have earned it honestly. Well, how much do you think I'll get? I don't know, son. A few dollars. How few few dollars? <laughs> Two, three. Could we try for four? Oh, come on! <laughs> Wait a minute, Daddy. Now what? Do you have five ones for a five? What for? I just want to make sure it has changed. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's not it. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, you don't seem very anxious to find the owner of that wallet. You want the truth? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is it, Russ. R.J. Titus. Doesn't look like a J to me. It's a J. R.J. Titus. Are you sure I'll get a reward? I'm sure you'll get a reward. Especially if you leave everything to me. Now, don't worry. Well, make him describe the wallet to you first. I will, I will, I will. Now, don't you worry. I'll take care of the whole thing. Yes? Oh, uh, uh Mr. Uh, Titus? That's right. Well, uh, my name is Danny Williams. This is my son, Rusty. We live in the apartment house next door. Is that so? Yeah. Uh, my uh, son was playing in the street in the sidewalk in front of this building, and he found a wallet. A wallet? Yeah. Was it a tan leather wallet? That's right. Have $25 in it? That's right. Did it have the initials R.J.T. on it? That's right. Okay, Russ. What are the serial numbers on the... All right! Uh, my little boy here found it in front of the building on the sidewalk. Well, I, uh, I was just calling the office to see if I left it there. It's mine, all right. Yeah, I, I guess it is. And, uh, my honest little boy here, he found it. Young well, man, I want to thank you very, very much. Thank you. <laughs> well, where's the big reward I was supposed to get? Ah, uh, maybe he forgot. Well, let's ring the bell and remind him. No! <laughs> yeah, dude, that'd be like asking for a reward. It wouldn't be the right thing. All right, I won't ask. Come on, just hold out my hand. No! <laughs> Look, son, so you didn't get a reward. So what? I mean, the, the idea is you did the right thing. You should be happy and proud. Now you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, Rusty Williams, you're an honest little boy. Yeah, and a fine old Rusty Williams, he'll look right back at me and say, ah! Ah. Did you find out who it belonged to? Yeah, yeah, we, we found him. There's a man in the uh, building next door, a fellow named R.J. Titus. You mean R.J. Tightwad. <laughs> What? Nothing, nothing, dear. What's for dinner? A leg of lamb. Oh, good. Why don't you wash up for dinner, Russ? Oh, there's no hurry. It won't be ready for an hour. Hmm. Well, how much was the reward? Honey, uh, <laughs> where are um, Terry and Linda? Oh, they haven't come back from the movie yet. Oh. How much was the reward? Sweetheart, uh, please. Look, I, I've talked it over with Rusty, and he understands now. Honesty is a principle, not a business. I mean, you do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, not because you expect to get paid for it. Honesty is its own reward. Now, isn't that true? Of course. How much did he get? <laughs> I didn't get anything. What? Honey, it's all right. I mean, he's not disappointed anymore. You, you mean they didn't give him anything? Darling. Why, the very idea. Sweetheart, Rusty knows now. He's learned a great lesson today that will serve him in his adulthood. Adulthood, my foot. He's just a little boy who went out of his way to return a man's wallet. Why, the least he could have given him was a dollar. I should have taken her with me. I thought you understood what I was... Sure, sure. I'm supposed to feel happy because I did the right thing. All I know is 
I left home loaded and came back busted. <laughs> I'll get there, honey. I'm expecting a call. Hello? Thank you. Thank you very much. What was that? There's a girl on a switchboard. Oh, I suppose she wants you to sing her another song. No, 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 no. <laughs> she just called to tell me Rusty's on his way up. What? I asked her to, dear. It's part of a little plan I got cooked what up. What plan? Well, it's a little plan concerning a wallet, which I'll tell you about in just a second. Too. Look, sweetheart, you got a genius for a husband. Yesterday, Rusty was terribly disappointed because he did an honest thing. He returned the wallet, but he got no reward. Now, I don't want my boy to go through life thinking that it's dumb to be honest. So I want to see to it that he gets a reward. A reward for what? For finding my wallet and returning it to me. Finding your wallet? Tommy, didn't you just see me lose it in front of the elevator? <laughs> now he'll get out of the elevator, pick it up, Bring it in to me, and I'll give him a reward for finding it. What makes you so sure he'll find it? He's got to find it. He'll trip over it as he comes out of the elevator. Pretty crafty, eh? Pretty silly, you mean. Sweetheart, if I don't do something, I'm going to have a 10-year-old cynic on my hands. Oh, Danny, he's just a little boy. In no time at all, he'll forget all about it. Honey, these are the impressionable years. What happens to that boy now will leave a wound that'll never heal. Look, doctor, would you mind taking a little advice? As a nurse, I found that wounds heal best when left alone. Yeah, well, as a father, I know my son. And I know this wound is not going to heal until I put at least a $3 bandage on it. <laughs> Where's the elevator? Uh -huh. All right, come on, let's start looking. Looking for what? Looking for what? The wallet. Oh. You said you graduated from college. Come on. <laughs> Hi, son. What's the matter? Lose something? Why, uh, yes, I did. Oh, well, I hope you find it. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Over to play with Jerry Ferguson. Well, right. <laughs> Just a second. I uh, haven't seen you all day. Didn't uh, anything interesting happen on the way home from school? No. Well, didn't anything interesting happen to you on the way home from the elevator? No. <laughs> Nothing at all? Nope. Let's face it, I lead a pretty dull life. Look, <laughs> son, sit, sit down. Some, something happened to, to me. I, I lost my wallet. Oh, gee, that's too bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just hope whoever finds it is as honest as you were. So do I. <laughs> yeah, especially since I'm offering a reward. Hmm? Well, I was thinking of giving a three dollars. Four dollars, Rusty. <laughs> yeah. Might even make it five if I get it back real soon. Five dollars, eh? Five dollars. Is that as high as you go? <laughs> well, I might go as high as six if I get it back immediately, like right now. Imagine how much you could do with six dollars, Rusty. Yeah. Well? Can I go play with Jerry Ferguson? Wait a minute. <laughs> Rusty. Russ, look at me, boy. Now, look, son, I'm your father, you understand? And I... Daddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Sweetheart, I know you were terribly disappointed yesterday because you didn't get a reward. But even so, I know you're going to do the right thing now. You're going to push aside temptation. Look at me with your head held high. And you're going to tell me right now what we both know is already weighing very heavily on your mind. OK, Dad, I'll tell you. All right, sweetheart, I'll tell me. I'd like to go play with Jerry Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you've got to say? Mm-hmm. All right, Russ. Go ahead, go play with your... Rusty, you better go change your clothes first. Okay, Kathy. Like I was saying, Doctor. All right, don't rub it in. 
How do you like that? Some plan. Cost me $30, a brand new wallet, my gasoline credit card, and my driver's license. Yes, and you've started Rusty on a wonderful career as a juvenile delinquent. <laughs> this is odd. Wait a minute, Danny. You know, maybe we're jumping to conclusions. Hmm? Maybe he didn't find it. Oh, boy, I hope so. Oh, I hope you're right. <laughs> He found it, all right. How do you like that? My son, a thief. Wonder what he'll take next. Probably a car. Oh, Danny. Why not? He's got a driver's license now. <laughs> Look, honey, I gave him a chance to return that wallet gracefully. Now I gotta lay it right on the line. Oh, Danny, remember, he's only a child. Sweetheart, I don't want to do this any more than you do, but I gotta teach him right now. He can't get away with a thing like this. Rusty? Yes, sir? Did you get that? Yes, sir? <laughs> He's so guilty, it's made him polite. <laughs> and now, dear boy, I want to talk to you now. Danny, don't say anything you'll regret I later. I won't, I won't. Now, don't worry about it. I'll handle it. What did you want to see me about, sir? Uh, sweetheart, uh, uh... I think I'll leave you two alone. Thank you, dear. Thank you. S sit down, sit down, Russ. Russ, uh, you and I are going to have to have a talk. What about? It's about trust. Oh, good. I was getting tired of honesty is the best policy. <laughs> <laughs> Russ, you know, being a parent is a, a very responsible job. I mean, it's a father's duty to see to it that, that his son grows up to be a respected and trusted member of his community. I want that for you, son. Because I love you very much, and your future welfare is a very important thing to me. Not until you grow up and become a daddy yourself will you fully appreciate the feeling of love and tenderness that I get every time I look at you, my son. Now, give me back the wallet before I break every bone in your body. What are you talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Don't you go away. <laughs> yes? Hi, Mr. Williams. Oh, hello, Earl. Sorry to bother you. Yes, all right. The funniest thing happened this afternoon. Yeah? I brought Rusty up and left him off. And then just as I was closing the elevator door, I looked out, and there was a wallet laying right there in the hall. A wallet? Yes, a wallet, a, an alligator wallet, brown alligator wallet with $30 in it. Two tens, a five, and five ones. Well... Uh... <laughs> you were saying? Well, uh, yes, I found it. And then I went right on down to the basement, and I looked all through the wallet to see if I could find any identification. Well, there wasn't much to go on. Just a driver's license with your name on it. <laughs> and, and a couple pictures of you and the family. Mm -hmm. And a gasoline credit card with your name on it. And so I got to thinking. <laughs> Maybe you're the owner. <laughs> you know, you're wasting your time running an elevator. You should become a private detective. <laughs> That's uh, quite a conclusion you came to. I am the owner. Well, well, you're lucky it was me that found it, not the night man. Oh. Now, he's the kind of guy that'll put the money right in his pocket and never say a word. Oh. But me, well, I believe in doing the right thing. And I said to myself, Earl, you do the right thing by Mr. Williams, and he'll do the right thing by you. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly said the right thing to Earl, Earl. <laughs> Have you got the wallet with you? Oh, naturally. I have it right here with me. Well, I'll mention your honesty to the manager. Oh, I'd rather you didn't do that, Mr. Williams. You see, the manager has a very strict policy here. Oh? And we're not supposed to accept rewards. Oh, I see. You're not supposed to accept rewards. But we don't pay any attention to the manager. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still, if it was to get around, I'd have to split it. You'd have to split it with whom? The manager. <laughs> I'd have to 
give him half the $10 that you're going to offer me, Mr. Williams. Half the... Oh. Well, you're certainly an honest boy, Earl, for returning it. Say, could I offer you $10 for returning it? Oh, Mr. Williams, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. And goodbye. Earl, the elevator boy. He found my wallet. Oh. Yeah, and Daddy gave him ten dollars. Ten dollars? Well, uh... Yeah. You told me it was wrong to ask for a reward. It is. Then how come Earl came right out and asked you for one? Because he's one of those poor, unfortunate people who believes money is more important than anything. People like that should be pitied. Why? I bet they're all rich. <laughs> Look, Rusty, I don't want you growing up thinking that you're living in an unfair world. I mean, you just saw somebody do the right thing and get something for it. You did the same thing yesterday and didn't get anything. Now, that doesn't mean that doing the right thing is the wrong thing. Or something. <laughs> Was that very clear? I don't know. Would you mind going over it again? <laughs> the point I'm trying to make, Russ, is that when you do the right thing, you'll never feel sorry. I did the right thing, didn't I? Of course you did. So how come I feel sorry? Holy <laughs> Jesus. Hello, Williams. You remember me? How could I ever forget you? What's the matter? Was all the money in the wallet? Oh, of course all the money was there. May I come in? Danny, ask the gentleman in. Oh, c come in, come in. This is uh, my wife, Mrs. Williams. Honey, this is Mr. Tightwad. A uh, tight. <laughs> How do you do? You remember the boy, of course. Remember him? Why, he's the one I came up here to see. Mm -hmm. You know, son, you did a very fine thing yesterday, and I think you should get something for it. So do I. <laughs> You see, I, I was going to give you a couple of dollars, but I know you kids, and I thought better of it. You'd just go out and spend all of it on a lot of junk. So instead, I thought I'd come over here and present this little gift to you. It's a season pass to the pro football games. Well, at least that won't give them a stomach ache, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, a season's pass to the games. They're Pretty hard to come by, aren't they? Well, not for me. You see, Williams, I do publicity work for the giant professional football team. Oh. Now, son, you can use that pass and take along your friends to the games, too. <laughs> Gee, Russ, that's a real expensive gift. Should I take it? Well, that's up to you, son. But remember what I told you. The real reward for doing the right thing is the good feeling that it gives you. Thanks just the same, Mr. Titus. This is a very unusual boy you have here, Mr. Williams. Thank you. You know, you know, it's pretty hard to find a young man your age that would turn down a gift like this just for the sake of a principal son. I'll tell you something. That's why I came over here myself. I wanted to do the right thing, too, and get that good feeling. Oh, well, Daddy, we've got to let him have that good feeling. <laughs> Blame you. Season's passed to the pro football games. That's pretty valuable. Pretty nice reward for returning a man's wallet. Well, like I always say, honesty is the best policy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I understand the Rams are in town. Why don't we all go to the game today? Will you and Kathy go? Why don't you want to go? You got no school today. Well, I don't want to go. Why not? I'm going to spend the whole day looking for wallets. <laughs> 